This is my most requested recipe. I've been getting so many requests on social media on how to make these crystal gummies. I guess they're going online for like almost $100 for a few pieces. But to be honest, to make this, it probably took me less than $10. And I could have made more, but I got lazy. So Yo sent me a bunch of their lychee drink. So we're gonna make some lychee crystal gummies. So if you guys don't know what crystal gummies are, they're basically a candy with a hard outer shell and a gummy inside. It's made using agar agar, which is a vegan jelly alternative. I ate a lot of agar agar growing up. There's a lot of it in Asian desserts. So that's what we're using. So it's actually super easy to put together. The only hardest part is that you have to wait a long ass time for these to crystallize and harden. This batch took me about 10 days. Yes, you heard that right. It took me 10 days to harden these. It's so painstakingly hard, but you literally have to wait for it to dry out and harden on the outside. Also, I highly recommend only using agar agar for this recipe. If you try to use gelatin, it just won't set the same way. You can find it at most Asian grocery stores, and I'm pretty sure you can find it on Amazon. So in my original recipe, I used water for this part, but we're just gonna replace the water with the Yo's lychee juice. Next, drop in the agar agar powder. You wanna let this bloom for about five minutes before you start mixing it. We're gonna turn the pot on about medium heat. Next, you're gonna slowly whisk in all the sugar. It's gonna seem like quite a bit of sugar, but we are making candy after all. Once all the sugar is in, you're gonna whisk it until everything is fully incorporated. Once it bubbles, remove it from heat. This is the point where you also add your extract of choice. In a pan or a dish, you want to oil it up. I'm using avocado oil and a napkin to spread it around. This is to help it from not sticking when you take it out later. Slowly pour in your mixture. It's hot, so be super careful. Here's the fun part. Now you can add your color of choice. I'm using red and yellow to kind of mimic the lychee colors. Drop a few dots in the mixture and take a stick and slowly swirl them out. Be careful not to overmix, otherwise it'll be like one color. Now refrigerate for two hours. Once you remove it from the refrigerator, it should be more solid now so that we can cut it into shapes. For this, you can use cookie cutters or freestyle with a knife. I just recommend oiling it up so that it doesn't stick. Now the hard part, you have to set it on your countertop to dry out for a few days. This took 10 days. This is what it looks like after about 10 days. You can tell that the outside is hard, but then once you break it, it's super jelly on the inside. See? It's all like jelly on the inside. Mmm. Tastes like a lychee chewy rock candy. 